Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's video. I am so grateful that you guys are here with me. So I feel like I've briefly talked about different things that I wear for jujitsu, for no gi, for gi, for things that I wear underneath my gi. I feel like I've kind of sprinkled those things into different videos, but I've had questions and DMs and comments of people asking me what I wear, where do I find jujitsu gear, sizing, all those kinds of things. Things, and I feel like because I've briefly talked about those things in a whole bunch of different videos, it's a little inconvenient for you guys to try and find it. So today we are gonna make one video talking about all of those things. What I wear for no gi, what I wear for gi, what I wear underneath my gi, where I like to go shopping. So today I am taking you through all of this fun stuff. Let's start by going through all of the no gi stuff. So I've always been a leggings kind of person and I've always tried to make sure that I bought leggings that were not see-through because a lot of leggings out there, they're very see-through. You gotta do the squat test when you're in the dressing room. So I always thought that all the leggings that I bought were not see-through, um, but I talked about this one time that, oh man, when was it? I think it was sometime towards the end of last year where my coach came up to me and he told me that my leggings were see-through and all the boys were staring at my butt. Ever since then, I've had to rethink my whole life. So now I wear leggings and even if I don't believe that they're see-through, I always wear short underneath so I'll usually wear like tight little spandex shorts underneath my leggings just to make sure that they will never be see-through in any kind of light or in any kind of weird funky jujitsu position that I'm in my leggings I don't get too fancy with the majority of my leggings for jujitsu are from Old Navy I just can't see spending like $75 on leggings I used to buy the ones from Victoria's Secret and I loved those so much but I legit was spending $75 and I just can't see doing that so I think that the old Old Navy ones have definitely leveled up in the way that they fit. They're comfortable, they come in different lengths, they're high-waisted, so those are usually the ones that I buy. I'm not too crazy about buying all these funky colors and designs for leggings, that's just not me. So I usually stick to black, maybe a dark gray, maybe a navy blue. I have a leopard print, but it's literally gray and navy blue. That's the craziest that I'm probably gonna get. I will say wearing shorts underneath leggings was definitely something to to get used to but you know you just gotta make sure that the leggings aren't see-through i know there's a brand out there called gaydama i think i'm pronouncing that right a lot of women in the jujitsu community advertise it and they seem to swear by them that they are not see-through that they're super comfortable that they don't fall down i've personally never tried those leggings but if you're looking for something that has all of those qualities in it i would give that brand a try so let me tell you something that changed my life shorts i've always wanted to try shorts but you know, you know what I hate about jujitsu is that there's no stores in person that you can go and try on jujitsu clothing. I hate buying clothing online without trying it on, but you're forced to do that for jujitsu. So I just didn't want to buy shorts and then not like the way they fit. And then I got to go to the post office and mail them back and return them and all that nonsense. And I'm just so lazy. Like I just have no patience for that. But these are the shorts that we have at my gym. So my coach very kindly gave me a pair and these shorts have changed my life. These are from the brand Break New Ground. These shorts fit so perfectly. And they're not divided into men's and women's, which is interesting, but they fit perfectly even though these technically are men's. They are tight at the waist. You can even see how they kind of pinch at the waist. And they have a string inside that you can tie. They have the Velcro here that you can also adjust, but I find honestly that they fit perfectly just with the cinched waist without having to tie the string or adjust the Velcro. I love that they are not super tight around the legs because because that's a problem too if you got thick thighs like I do. They are perfectly form-fitting at the waist, looser on the legs, so comfortable. And then what I'll do is I'll usually wear a pair of spandex underneath them, call it a day. Sometimes I wear leggings underneath, it depends how I'm feeling. Sometimes I do the leggings underneath with the shorts on top. Sometimes I just do the spandex shorts underneath. It just kind of depends what kind of mood I'm in, you know? But seriously, try
try out these shorts, break new ground. They are amazing. You know what I really love as a female? You know when we get to that time of the month and maybe for a couple of days you're bloated and nogi? It's all really tight clothing. So honestly, who wants to wear really tight leggings, a tight rash guard, you're bloated, you're just not feeling yourself? These shorts are a game changer because even if you're bloated, just the way that they fit, you're not wearing something that's so tight and that's so restricting. Honestly, it's they've changed my life. I have tried other shorts on and to be honest, I don't like them. So I think the only shorts that I'm gonna wear from now on is the Break New Ground ones. These are the 93 brand shorts and they're my friends that I've just forgotten to give back for a very long time. So I've never worn them in training, but I've tried them on and I just don't like them. You can even see they're kind of boxy. The waist is really big and I have a tiny waist and a bigger lower bottom. So that's always an issue with buying clothes, including these. The waist is so big. I have to adjust the Velcro a lot and then it just looks kind of funky. I know a lot of people swear by these. I see people wearing them all the time, but for me, they're really big in the waist. My legs look like freaking stuffed sausages. Like they are just not cute. Now let's talk about some rash guards. Even though I don't like 93 brands shorts, I do love, 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 love their rash guards. Their rash guards fit so nice. I feel like they just, they go on like butter. They just feel smooth and tight, but not like too tight where they're restricting. They just feel so good. I love 93 brands rash guards. I think I have like four or five of them. I have some short sleeve. I have some long sleeve. This one's really cute. I love this one. I go through phases of wanting to wear short sleeve versus long sleeve. So whatever I'm in the mood for, that's what I go to grab. But I like having both options just in case. I've talked about this brand before. This is from Pressure Grappling. This was the first rash guard that I tried that had the resistance band at the bottom. And at first I wasn't a fan. I'll be honest, I didn't like it. But the more that I wore it and other brands that I tried that have it, I actually really like it. It's meant to help the rash guard from rising up. So if that's something that you're concerned about or something that you've experienced, try to find a rash guard that has the resistance band at the bottom. I will say these sleeves are a little bit longer. So some rash guards have sleeves that come up higher towards the shoulder. Some come down a little longer towards the elbow. Pressure Grappling is a brand I've noticed where their rash guards come down a little bit longer. So that's also something to think about too and kind of whatever you feel comfortable with. Something else that I love about Pressure Grappling is they have really cool designs. A lot of times I find that brands either don't make women's cut rash guards or if they do they're really boring and plain and then the men's rash guards have all these kinds of cool designs. So what I love about pressure grappling is they have really cool animal designs. I mean look how freaking cool this is. And then it transfers over into the back. Their logo is here by the shoulder. So cool, so eye-catching, so pretty. Moving along to Break New Grounds Rash Guards. This is another product that was given to me by my jujitsu school. The owner and head instructor is sponsored by Break New Grounds, so he works with them to create the gear for our school. And so far, I have three things from them. I have a short sleeve rash guard, which is this one. I have a long sleeve rash guard. And then I have the shorts, all three items I absolutely love. First of all, this rash guard is made really nicely. It's thick, it feels like it's durable. The sleeves are a little bit longer, so they're not super short, but it's all good. I like the way it fits. I think this design is freaking awesome. And then our logo is also on the back. And this rash guard also has the resistance band at the bottom. I also really love this quote right here, finding calm in the chaos. That is exactly what jujitsu is. So break new ground. I'm here for it. I like your stuff. And the last one that I'm going to show you today is from X Marshall. I've advertised this one in a recent video of mine. This is the Coffee Then Jiu Jitsu Rash Guard, which I absolutely love. As I've said before, I'm a huge coffee fanatic. I cannot go a day without drinking coffee. Not because I feel like it really does anything for me. I just love the ritual of drinking coffee. I love the smell. I love the taste. I love trying new coffee beans. Everything about coffee, I just freaking love. So this Rash Guard was absolutely perfect for me. I think it fits really well. The 
material is thick. It has the resistance band at the bottom as well. And then it has their cool logo on the back too. If you are interested in purchasing jujitsu gear from X Marshall, go to xmarshall.com. I will link my affiliate link in the description box below. I have a coupon code. It's just my name, Kimberly Kinch in caps for 10% off. Who doesn't want 10% off jujitsu gear? Let's move along into what we wear for gi training. All of the stuff that I just went through, minus the leggings, I will wear underneath my gi. I don't wear leggings anymore because I feel like I'm so restricted and just so confined and it just makes everything tighter. So I prefer to wear some kind of spandex shorts underneath my gi. I feel more free and I just feel like I can move better. I usually wear a rash guard underneath my gi. I'm not a huge fan of just wearing a sports bra. Sometimes I do it, but sometimes I feel like everything is just kind of all up in people's faces. So I usually prefer to wear some kind of shirt. Sometimes I do wear like a cropped athletic tank top. Now let's talk about my favorite geese, or I should say gi, because I only have one favorite kind of gi. If you have watched the majority of my videos and you've watched videos where I talk about my favorite gi before, then you will know that I am absolutely in love in love with War Tribe. I have yet to find another brand that I love just as much as War Tribe. And look, I am not affiliated with War Tribe. I am not sponsored by them. Like I've said before, that is the dream. War Tribe, if you come along this video, I love you. Like I really, really love you. But anyway, um, they are my absolute favorite gee, so let's get into why. Okay, so the most important thing first, War War Tribe is the only gi where I've tried it on immediately after opening the package and it fits perfectly. Every other gi that I've had, I usually have to wash a couple of times, maybe put it in the dryer once or twice to shrink it. Gis just always seem to run big and it's really annoying. War Tribe fits like a glove as soon as I take it out of the package. I also love that War Tribe gis are really light. They're my favorite gis to wear in competition. So I always feel kind of a little safer wearing a lighter gi in competition for weighing in, especially for IBJJF because you have to weigh in with your gi on. So don't quote me on this, but I feel like this gi is probably around three pounds versus four pounds. And it's only a pound difference, but a pound difference is a lot. For the lightness or heaviness of a gi, there is specific criteria with the materials and the way that the material is stitched together. So I just usually try to look in the description when I'm buying a gi. The description will usually tell you if it's a lighter fit gi. And you can see that the top is not too long long. It's not too bulky. It fits perfectly. The sleeves fall right at the edge of my wrist. They're not too short. They're not like too long. And now moving down to the pants. Okay, let me cut in first and just say that I am very particular with the way that my pants fit. Honestly, if the pants don't fit the way that I want them to, like, ugh. Wearing the gi is just a struggle. So starting at the top with the drawstring, this is a really small detail, but for me, it makes a huge difference. So the drawstring is kind of like the circular shape and it's stretchy. So I feel like I can tie my pants and adjust them however I want. And then moving down to below the waist, you can see that the pants fall kind of right above my ankle, which is exactly how I like it. I hate when gis are too short. I hate when they fall below my ankle and they kind of fall towards my foot. I Thing that is so annoying to roll in. So these gi pants fit perfect for me. All right, so let's talk about a gi now that I have that I just don't really like that much. It's an absolutely beautiful gi, but I just really don't like the way it fits and it's very unfortunate. So the audio cut out for this clip, but here I'm pretty much saying just how much bulkier this gi top is compared to the War Tribe and how much longer the sleeves are here. Also the stitching of the gi is a lot thicker thicker, it's a lot bulkier, the actual threading itself, versus the War Tribe stitching, which is a lot smaller, which in turn makes the gi top lighter. So now for the pants, I can't stand the way that this drawstring is. So the difference between this one and the War Tribe one, this one is flat and it's not stretchy at all. So when I tie my pants tight, it just kind of bunches up the material versus just kind of like seamlessly making the pants tighter. Um, I feel like that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> 
but to me it does and you can definitely feel the difference. Now for the actual pant legs. You can kind of see right off the bat these pants are a lot bulkier. They're not as fitted as the War Tribe ones were and the edges of the pants go down below my ankle and they're starting to ride along the top of my foot which I just think is really annoying and rolling. So overall this gi is just like a lot bulkier and I wish that I liked the way it fit because I love the way that it looks. But this is just one of those gis where if I feel like I've worn my War Tribe ones all week, if I need to just switch it up a little bit for a last resort, this is the gi I'm throwing on. But it's definitely not my first choice. I also have gis from Vulcan, Kings, Break New Ground. And I mean, they fit okay. I don't like the Vulcan one at all, pretty much for the same reasons as the Fuji gi. But nothing just compares to War Tribe. You know, I feel like eventually when you buy enough gis, you find a brand that you love. Love. And for me, that's War Tribe. For you, it might be different. You might love the Fuji Gi. I probably didn't do great advertising for it, but you may want to try it anyway and you may love it. So you have to do a little bit of experimentation. You have to find what works for you, but it's definitely helpful to hear the opinions of others. So what you can also do aside from listening to my opinion is if you have Facebook, join the Women's Grappling Network. It's just like thousands of women that train jujitsu and and everyone just pretty much chats all day, asks different questions, voices concerns and issues or accomplishments about things that they are experiencing. And a big topic of discussion is what we wear in jujitsu for gi, for no gi underneath, on top of, and everything in between. So that Facebook group is so helpful. If you need an opinion from other people on what to buy, you can ask a question and I can guarantee that someone and even multiple people in that group have that product and can give you their opinion on it. And just as a reference, I am about 5'5". I fluctuate between 135 and 140. 40 pounds, so I'm pretty tiny up top and a little bit thicker on the bottom. So my rash guards are usually always an extra small. Those break new ground shorts that I showed you are small, but they are a little bit looser around the leg. So that's why they fit so perfectly. In my War Tribe Gi, I wear a size W1. Always reference the sizing chart when you're buying a Gi, just to kind of give you an idea of where you should start. I find that War Tribe size chart is pretty spot on. On. I am the exact size that their website says that I should be and that's about it The only other thing left to really talk about is my belt My blue belt was from Fuji and I didn't really like it because it was kind of thin and flimsy for my purple belt I wanted one that was sturdy that was thicker. So this is from the brand Ronin brand. It's nice and wide It's nice and thick. It feels really sturdy and I like that when I tie it It's not too long and it doesn't kind of like flop over. I'm very particular with a lot of things. These small details might not matter to some people, but they may matter to you. So I definitely recommend Ronin brand for your belts. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that I covered everything or pretty much everything. If you thought this video was helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, I will see you guys next time.